So as we contracted the subtle bodies further into the physical, this gave us the capacity to be more self-aware. As we're spread out into the world around us, we're not as self-aware and we feel more part of our environment. As we contract further into ourselves, we become more self-aware. Balancing and healing the human being at all levels, physical and subtle bodies. Let me tell you just a little bit about it. It's a very deep and profound aspect of the work. We can use geometrical resonance for healing. Now, one thing that's understood in biogeometry is that the way that energies move create specific functions. So what in China they might call qi, or in India called prana, living vital energy, runs through the human body and runs into all of the organs and systems of the body. And as the vital energy runs through the systems of the body, it creates specific movement patterns. These are three-dimensional geometric movement patterns that have the particular effect of creating a function based on the shape that the energy is moving in. They're originally three-dimensional, but they can be simplified down to a two-dimensional shape. That two-dimensional shape contains the information of the function from the three-dimensional energy movement pattern. And so there's a system that we teach at level three, which is very profound, called biosignatures, in which we give the student hundreds of biosignature patterns, and they can then uh, test themselves or any other person for what energy circulations are not in the correct flow pattern in the body, and then give them the correct energetic information to restore that flow pattern. Now, a very important principle comes into play here energy, shape, and function. So the meaning of this is that what we understand in biogeometry is that energy needs to be told what function to perform. And it gets told what function to perform by the shape that it moves into. So energy into shape equals function. So instead of seeing biosignatures as just these squiggly lines, understand them rather as the movement of energy in a particular pattern to create a function in the human energy body. And so when we look at the anatomy of the human body, the lungs, the kidneys, the liver, etc., all have specific patterns of energy movement in them, which give rise to particular functions. So for instance, these are a few biosignatures for the spine. It's very important for me because when I began working in biogeometry, I'd had a very severe car accident and a lot of damage to my neck and spine. And I had a lot of pain and a lot of immobility because of it. After working for a short period of time with Dr. Kareem, he had identified a set of biosignatures that I needed, and my quality of life was dramatically improved almost immediately. Now, one thing that we always say in biogeometry is that we make no medical claims, and we also make clear that the results of biogeometrical work for any particular person is unpredictable. Every person is their own unique energy system, but this system of biosignatures can be extremely powerful and profound for many people, finding the correct pattern of energy movement to create a specific energetic effect. If you go to Egypt and you look at the three pyramids at Giza Plateau, you might not notice that all three of the pyramids have a half a degree indentation down the center of the four faces. Now, if you see it from a plane, often it's much clearer that there is that indentation down the center of the faces. This indentation is known to Egyptologists, but they have no idea why it exists. Now, it was extremely hard to build the pyramids in the first place. How much harder would be to create this indentation line down the center of the four faces. And why do it? Well, the reason that we sew students in level two is that if you detect the energy of an uncorrected pyramid, out of its base you get both beneficial and detrimental aspects of this spiritual carrier wave. But if you make this transmutation to it, this modification, which can also be done very simply with particular lines put on places on the pyramid, that you not only get rid of the detrimental energy component as detected with the equipment that we teach the student to use, but you can also make it so that in addition to the detrimental component being gone, on, you now get all BG3 coming out of the base, the pyramid. And this was actually done in ancient Egypt, and now we can teach you how to do it as well. Now, I mentioned before that the French had found that the form of the pyramid emanated a spiritual carrier wave, and so for that reason, it's used as a place of initiation in cultures around the world. But the same thing is true of the dome, that the dome form also creates a spiritual carrier wave. And there's also methods by which the dome, which is used in the last 2,000 years, 
appears primarily instead of the pyramid for the exact same purpose of creating the spiritual carrier wave that connects spirit and matter. There are particular ways that we can work with it to get rid of the detrimental energy component and to create a BG3 emanation from the particular shape. And again, that's material that we go into at level two. Another aspect of this work, when we try to describe it to the public, uh, one of the ways that we often uh, describe it metaphorically is it's something like an Egyptian version of feng shui. So although on one hand, the Egyptian biogeometry methods are very different from the particular types of cures and approaches used in Chinese feng shui, nonetheless it's similar in the sense that we can use Egyptian biogeometry to analyze the energy in any space and to transmute the energy in the space to be highly beneficial. In fact, we have had many practitioners of feng shui from many different schools of feng shui do the biogeometry training, and they tell us it has revolutionized the way they do their work. Now for the first time, they tell us they are able to directly detect the energy in the space and know when their energy transmutation work has been effective. They say it's completely revolutionized the way they do their work, and biogeometry is a kind of a universal donor. It can be added to any body of work, including feng shui. So we can energy balance any location, and we can create a spiritual power spot at any location. Now the methods for this are many and varied, so I'll just touch briefly on a couple of them that we deal with in level two. One is something called color placement, which can also be object placement. To make it very brief, what we find is that we can take any object or we can take any color. And within the enclosed confines of any location, let's say a particular room, for example, in that particular room, I can go along the walls of the room and by testing the energy, I will find one place in that room where I can put a specific object or a specific color and it will create an emanation of the BG3 energies powerfully throughout the entire space. Now again, this is not a set feng shui type of placement idea. In other words, it's not like this object goes in the northeast corner. In biogeometry, we don't have that type of concept. We do everything according to direct testing of the energy. It's not abstract, it's direct testing of the energy so that we find exactly where that object or that color in that particular space gives us empirically exactly the beneficial energy that we need. So this is a very important and fundamental aspect of the Egyptian energy balancing of locations. Now, when I say we use color, this can be done very subtly. It's all a matter of precision. So that, for example, instead of putting up like a big swath of color in one particular location, create a BG3 emanation, I can even take a tiny dot of color, like I would use to code uh, file folders, little sticky dots of color like I would get at a office supply store. And I can stick it up at a location, and if the location is correct, from it being at that location, location in the room, it will create a strong emanation of the BG3 through the entire space. I could even put it on top of the lintel so you can't even see it when it's placed. When properly done, biogeometry modifications can be completely invisible, but the energetic effect is profound. 